Okay, my name's Alan Clark. I'm currently the chair of the State Umpires Committee. Um, I'm situated in Mudgee, New South Wales, which is about 250 k's west of Sydney. Um, in my club, I'm the club slash bowl secretary. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at with Mudgee. I'm also on the zone, zone umpires committee. Yes, I'm seeing a positive shift at, at Bowls New South Wales. Um, with Bowls New South Wales now having an appointed and dedicated CEO who in the short time has set the path for Bowls New South Wales to follow. This is further helped by the CEO during his country trips and visiting as many clubs as possible, um, plus attending open meetings in these region he is visiting. Um, I also have been hearing comments from different clubs following these visits that, that they, that's Bowles New South Wales, are now actually listening to us. And this has helped weaken the perception that Bowles New South Wales uh, do not care about the clubs west of the mountains. So there's a more positive direction in that now with our members out this way that, yes, we are being included in everything. And that's really a big positive momentum shift for especially the clubs in Western New South Wales. Okay, the, the challenges we've type of been facing late, you know, in the last 12 months, um, we've had to look at standardising the accreditation and re-accreditation of officials. Previously, there were two systems and the pre that was the previous Women's Bowls New South Wales Bowls Association and the Royal New South Wales Bowls Association. There is a perception among some presenters and assessors that it, that it is not rocket science. And this perception has resolved in a drop in the standard of, a, of officials, that is umpires. As a result, the State Umpires Committee has taken on the task of restructuring the training to ensure that the courses are standardized and that the standard will be maintained. The way that candidates are trained to carry out the role of presenters and assessor, once again, this will be standardised across the state. The accreditation, reaccreditation of presenters and assessors will not be a gimme. And before the end of March this year, the State Umpires Committee will have in place a standard for accrediting and reaccrediting presenters and assessors. The priority will be on the reaccreditation of the presenters and assessors, followed by the accreditation of new presenters and assessors. The other challenge which has really affected our work is the computer system that was used to administer the accreditation and reaccreditation of officials and presenters as assessors at Bowles New South Wales was corrupted. This was discovered in early January this year, unfortunately. The affected files involve affected paperwork received by Bowles New South Wales as far back as June, July last year. Since late January, the current staff at Bowles New South Wales have been doing mountains of work to get the new system online. However, this does not take time. This does take time and the State Umpires Committee do ask everybody to be patient. Personally, first was being nominated for the 2022 Bowls Australia Official of the Year. I felt so privileged on receiving the nomination and recognition, even though I was the runner-up on the award. Secondly, was being appointed for the second time on the State Umpires Committee. Then in October last year, being elected as a position of chair of the Umpires Committee. I am very fortunate to be working with a group of very dedicated and hardworking members of the committee. things on my agenda and the committee's agenda at, at that is the structure of for the reaccreditation and accreditation of presenters and assessors the structure for the reaccreditation and accreditation of officials and break and the last one is breaking down the gender barriers for officials and the game of bowls in general finish up by saying i truly believe in the game of lawn bowls and the administration of bowls is moving in a positive direction no doubt, 
we may encounter odd, odd, the odd obstacles here and there, but the strength of our combined efforts will, will result in the obstacles becoming less in numbers and smaller in size, which will be all for the better of the, our game we love, lawn bowls. <laughs>